welcome to Athena, a webinar on the agriculture technician, highland vegetable extension, and information application. This is the third episode of our webinar series on promoting inclusive agricultural development in Mindanao. I am Joan Sual, and I will be your host for today. To start our session, we have the Dean of the College of Agriculture, Dr. Maria Rosario P. Mosqueda, to tell us the rationale of today's webinar. Good morning, everyone. Athena is a suite of mobile applications designed to help our government agricultural technicians and community-based paratechnicians in providing extension service to highland vegetable producing communities. It is one of the outputs of our CHED-funded project, ICT-aided Community-Based High-Value Vegetable Extension Service, or iChai. Athena is composed of seven mobile applications covering topics on pest identification and control, soil fertility and nutrient management, farm production planning, food processing-based livelihood ideas, government programs and services, price information and messaging system, and farming needs assessment. The creation of these mobile apps was based on the results of the farming needs assessment study that we conducted in eight highland barangays of the municipalities of Impasugong, Suilao, Lantapan, and Talakag. For app development and evaluation, we closely collaborated with several groups of individuals. We work with 32 vegetable farmers, eight LGU agricultural technicians, several faculty members and staff of the College of Agriculture with specializations in soil science, crop protection, crop science, food technology, agricultural economics, development communication, and agricultural engineering. We also had project staff with background in computer programming. We also sought feedback from the administration and staff of the East Westbound Terminal and Public Market. The apps were developed in both English and in the vernacular. And if I may add, these apps are also quite versatile because it can be easily adapted to other agricultural commodities and can be updated by several or selected users. Most of these apps were also used by our partner vegetable farmer technicians when they conducted short seminar workshops in their respective community. This year, with the iSafe project, we will develop these apps into instructional materials that will be integrated in specific courses and programs in the college. Whether you are a student, a teacher, a farmer, a local government agricultural technician, or a non-government extension service provider, I hope you will find this Athena webinar informative and useful. We would also appreciate it very much if you will try these apps and provide us feedback. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Mosqueda, for giving us the information on how these applications started. And now to give us a short message, please welcome the Vice President for Higher Education of Xavier University, Dr. Juliet Hugh Dalagan. Good day to all the participants of the Athena webinar. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this webinar organized by the College of Agriculture of Xavier Ateneo. I am very impressed with how the college has lived up to the living legacy of its founder, Father William Masterson of the Society of Jesus, the founder of the College of Agriculture. Father Masterson was very committed to form young people to be community leaders who will work for rural development through agriculture. He was a bold man and very courageous in pursuing his dreams for the College of Agriculture. And right here and now, the college is making Father Masterson proud with our Ched I Chives project, most specifically Athena, the Agriculture Technicians Highland Vegetable Extension and Information Apps. I commend the college to the leadership of Dean Chari 
for these Athena mobile apps, which is a manifestation of how bold and courageous the college is in its research and extension. The mobile apps, if I could mention some, Farm Bill, um, Promise, Local Agriculture, Programs and Services, and Food Lives, that were developed are indeed very innovative and relevant. The college has really stepped up to address the challenges of the agricultural sector. This is the way to go using mobile apps in the first century. Very interesting indeed. And I hope that the plan to develop these apps into instructional materials will really push through because this is really the way to go for our higher education and also for our senior high, the call to interdisciplinarity, just like the ICT and agriculture. So with this, I hope that everyone will have an enjoyable learning experience with this Athena webinar. Thank you for your participation. Thank you so much, Dr. Dalagan. We really appreciate your presence in today's webinar and your support to the Manresa Day celebration of the College of Agriculture. For those who just tuned in, once again, welcome to our webinar. And now let's get started. For today, we are going to focus on four mobile applications, namely Abuno, Test ICA, Food Lives, and Farm Bill. Let's go to our first featured app, Abono, a fertilizer calculator mobile application. It aims to provide farmers with additional knowledge on fertilizer application. Unlike other fertilizer calculators, it compares the farmer's fertilization practice with the recommended calculation based on soil testing. It features farmer's fertilization calendar, fertilizer expenses estimation, comparison of farmer's fertilizer practice versus the recommended usage of the Department of Agriculture's guidelines using the soil test kit, lime requirement calculator, and fertilizer glossary. So to give you a sneak peek of what to expect from the app, here is a short video presentation. Find and click the Abono icon to start. Only registered users can log in to the application. Input your password and username, then click Log In. Wait for the app to take you to the home page. Click the Start button. Enter the name of the former and click Next. Select the crop to be planted and click Next. Select the total land area of the farm and click Next. The app will then display the fertilization calendar. Schedule fertilization by clicking what day or days fertilizer will be applied. Once finished scheduling your fertilization calendar, click how much does it cost to calculate the total cost on fertilizer. The total price of all the fertilizers chosen will be displayed together with a breakdown of the fertilizers including their quantity and price. Click the How Much Nutrients Does My Crop Need button in order to calculate the amount of fertilizer needed based on soil analysis. To calculate the recommended fertilizers through the app, a soil test kit result is needed. Choose first the SDK result for nitrogen and click Next. Input the result for phosphorus and click Next. Input the results for potassium and click Next. Finally, input the pH result of the SDK and click Next. The app will display a graph comparing the fertilizer usage practiced by the farmer and the recommended amount of fertilizer based on the SDK result. It also tells the user if there is excess or lacking in the amount of the existing fertilizer needed to satisfy the nutrient requirement set for the crop. The app also shows the lime required to bring the soil pH to its optimum level of 6.0 to 6.5. It 
also displays the total costs for the fertilizers as well as the fertilizers that are scheduled to be used in the field. Click Download Data to generate a PDF copy of the data displayed on the screen. Enter your app username and password and click OK. Once the PDF download is successful, the file name and details of file location of the PDF will be seen at the bottom part of the page. You can find the PDF file in your phone storage. This is how the PDF file would look like. All the details that was entered in the app by the user is reflected in the document. This can now be printed by your local agriculture technician to give to the farmer. How to change the language. From the home page, click the hamburger button and click language. Select the language you prefer and click OK. How to change the fertilizer price. From the home page, click the hamburger button and click change fertilizer price. Choose the name of the fertilizer that you will edit. Enter the new price and click save. How to add new fertilizer. From the home page, click the hamburger button and click add fertilizer. Enter the name, price, and fertilizer grade of the new fertilizer. Click save. How to add new crop. From the home page, click the hamburger button and click add crops. Enter the name of the crop and its fertilizer recommendation for nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Click Save. Glossary. From the home page, click the hamburger button and click Glossary. In order to view the glossary of complex terms in the app, the glossary defines jargons that the user may not be familiar with. Now let us go to our second featured mobile application, the Pest Identification and Control Advisory, which is aimed at enhancing farmers' knowledge about the common insect pest. The app features a database of common insect pests. Identification of common insect pests by comparing field pictures with those from the database. Life cycle of common insect pests with corresponding damage and suggested control methods per stage. And lastly, an interactive quiz. To know how to use the Pest ICA app, here is a short video. Find and click the Pest ICA icon to start. Input your username and password, then click Log In. Wait for the app to take you to the home page. Click the Identify Pest button. Enter your name or nickname and click OK. There are two ways to use the app. Click Use Picture to identify the pest from your camera roll. Click Based on Crop Damage to identify insect pest based on the damage they've done in your crop. When using Picture, a pop-up window may appear to ask access to take pictures and record video. Click Allow to allow the app to access the camera of your device. Click the camera icon to upload a picture of the pest. Click the source of the picture. You can choose to take the photo from your photo gallery 
or take a photo using the device of your camera. After selecting the image, the user can now compare the picture of the insect pest with the ones present in the app's database. Tap the check button once the images match. Tap more information to view the life cycle of the pest. To identify the pest based on the damage to the crop, select the damage part tagged. Select the type of damage to your crop. The app will provide a list of possible insect pests that has caused the damage. Click Create to view the details about the insect pest. To have a detailed description of the insect pest at the different stages of its life cycle, click the picture. Click on pictures to see the damage caused by the pest. Press back to go back to the previous pages. Click control to view the control methods. By tapping quiz, the user can now answer the quiz about the insect nest. Click answer quiz to start. Choose your answer and click confirm. Your score for the quiz is shown on the upper left corner while the remaining time is shown on the upper left side. The user must complete the quiz within 3 minutes. Answers are shown after each question. An explanation of the answer is also provided. Click Next Question to proceed. There are a total of 10 questions for the quiz. Your score and percentage is displayed at the end. The app allows the user to add more questions for the quiz. To do this, click Add More Questions. Input the question, choices, and the correct answer, and click Save. Click Glossary to find the meaning of complex terms. farming activities and keep track of their farming expenses. 
This app contains a calendar of activities from land preparation to post-harvest. List of farming expenses acquired by the farmer for the whole production period. Cash flow report. Break even price calculation. Printable version of the cash flow report and break even price computation that can be given to the farmer. Now, here is a video on how to use the Farm Bill app. Find and click the Farm Bill icon to start. Only registered users can log in to the application. Input your username and password, then click Log In. Wait for the app to take you to the homepage. Click Start to start using the app. The app will ask you if you have already registered. Click No if it's your first time using the app and don't have a record yet. And yes, if you already have a record. Fill up the details in the registration form and click Submit. Click Start your plan for the app to display the form calendar. The form calendar allows the user to plot the schedule of each farming activity. Select the date and click the Add Activity button to start planning. Select the activity that you will do on that date and click OK. Fill up the details asked for each activity and click Add Activity when done. Dates will change color based on the activity done on that day. Legend for each color is also displayed in the app. If you click on the color dates, you can see the activity scheduled on that day. You have the option to edit or delete the activity. Just click the Edit or Delete button. To schedule another activity on the same day, just click the date. Click back or any part of the screen when the pop-up message appears and click Add Activity. The app also allows you to view the farming cost. Click Show Farming Cost. Choose to view the monthly cost or the overall cost and click Confirm. If monthly cost is chosen, the app will display the total expenses for each month. Click Details to see the activities and expenses for each month. If overall cost is chosen, the app will display all the farming activities, the date that it will start and end, and the corresponding cost of each activity. The user can also download the data of the total cost in PDF format. Click Download Data. Once PDF download is successful, the file name and details of file location of the PDF document will be seen at the bottom part of the page. You can find the file in your phone storage. This is how the PDF file would look like. We have come to our last mobile application, the Vegetable Food Livelihood Ideas or Food Lives. Food Lives is a mobile application that contains recipes of food incorporated with high value vegetables. 
It aims to provide livelihood ideas to farmers, especially during times of oversupply. The app contains easy-to-follow vegetable-based recipes categorized as snacks, refreshments, and preserves. Lists of ingredients and materials used per recipe supported with images. Video guides showing the step-by-step -step procedure of preparing the food product. Cost per serving estimation. And now here is a video presentation on how to use food lines. Find and click the Food Lives icon to start. This will take you to the home page of the app. Click the Start button. There are four categories available in the app. Namely, Coolers,
give us their impressions about the four featured Athena mobile applications, here are some of Xavier University College of Agriculture faculty members. For Abuno, we have Ms. Precious Jane P. Tagas. Fertilizer costs have been a small portion of the crop production budget. Fertilizer is seen as a supplement to nutrients. Excessive amounts of fertilizers may be a problem in today's environmentally conscious society. Soil test and appropriate uh, recommendation can be useful and effective management practice. Abono is a mobile application that aims to provide uh, farmers with additional knowledge on fertilizer application. Based on the farming needs assessment of the iChibes project, many of our local farmers do not know that their soil can be analyzed. They rely on their fellow farmers for their fertilization practices. I recommend this app to the students, especially to those who have soil science courses, because this can be used to help them on topics about soil fertility and management. For PEST ICA, we have Ms. Judith T. Pitt. Good morning, everyone. Before the presentation, a little information on how to use the mobile app on pest identification and control, I will give you a short background uh, of what is featured in the app. One of the major problems identified uh, by the high value vegetable uh, farmers during the I tribes uh, farming need assessment is the pest infestation. About uh, all of the respondents, almost 90% of the respondents, I then indicated that uh, we have experienced problem on insect pest. Among the most mentioned insect pest during the survey are the aphids, the common black cup cream, the diamond back moth, the cabbage seed worm, and the dimension again the snack. The prevent damage is caused by these different uh, major insect pest uh, uh, of the crucible vegetable. Majority of our farmers uh, applied calendar spraying of synthetic pesticides. Our farmer uh, used uh, synthetic pesticide application uh, once uh, during uh, dry season and during rainy season. He sprayed twice and eaten five times. The pest identification and uh, control mobile application can provide farmers with uh, information about the common insect pests uh, and their respective uh, vegetable crops. Since uh, this uh, app pictures the life cycle of the insects, the damage characteristics, and also the management and control practices. Since our farmer can determine and easily identify which of the control practices effective to control such uh, insects in the farming. This app uh, was created uh, for educational purposes. Our uh, HIV's part mission have used this app uh, during the training session in the respective communities. Uh, this app uh, can also be useful to our base agriculture students and even to our base other business students taking the crop protection subject uh, since one of the major topics of this course is on insect pest identification and control. Our students also can make uh, their own um, insect pest library with uh, they know the insects or any insects that uh, causes damage to the crop. And we will uh, discuss further during our session. Hope you will find the mobile app uh, very useful. For Farm Bill, we have Ms. Veneranda T. La Rosa. The Apps for Farm Bill, developed by iChives, aims to provide information and help our vegetable farmers in northern Mindanao, especially from the municipalities of Talakag, Lantapan, Sumilao, and Impasugong. 
all from the province of Bukidnon. This answers the problem and the lack of basic financial skills of farmers. Bukidnon is considered to be the vegetable bowl of northern Mindanao and vegetable production is the major source of livelihood of our farmers. Farmers always aim for a sustained and increased production. However, there are both economic and non-economic factors which greatly affect their production output. Economic factors include the supply and demand and price uncertainty, while non-economic factors include climatic condition, pest infestations, and diseases. Added to this is the value system of simply following what they observe and the practices of other farmers. It is also a reality that majority of our farmers do not consider farming as a business, nor they keep records of their production plan, activities, expenses, sales, and income. Farm bill ops will enable farmers to know the cost incurred, prices, volume of sale and determine the return of their investment. Farmers will be able to analyze the cost incurred and income received at the convenience of their home. The information and the activities to be undertaken, prices of inputs to be used, prices of the commodity at harvest time, percentage of estimated losses and expected income are at the tips of their fingers. These records will serve as the basis for decision making in the next cropping. Since farmers as commonly practice, base their decision on the recent past experience. If they gain, they produce more, but if they incur losses, they reduce their production. By knowing the cost and return of their investment, they will be able to minimize losses and maximize their profit. It is very important for every producer to attain positive return in how can their, they sustain their income. This Farm Bill Ops is of great help to our farmers. It will enable our farmers to become an independent decision maker, empowered, and have an increased production. Increased production means increased income. Increased income will result to an improved economic status and improved standard of living. In the long run, we would like to see all these positive indicators will be attained and in our own little way contribute in augmenting the life of our farmers in the countryside. The students can likewise benefit from the farm bill ops. They can use the ops for their courses which undertake production activities such as crop science and animal science regardless of what program they belong in college. Um, the ops can likewise be utilized uh, for thesis or research undertaking. Thank you so much for listening. I do hope you have learned something from the input. Mabuhay fellow farmers. For Food Lives, we have Ms. Sylvia T. Aguho. Happy Mandrasa Days, everyone. This app on vegetable processing was developed with the farmers in mind, knowing that there are times that they're able to produce a lot of vegetables that are in excess. And most of the time, these are left in the field to rot. The app will help them utilize the excess produce, including those which are considered as low quality in terms of size and shape. And this can be made into useful products. This processed vegetables will also encourage the consumption of vegetables in different forms. Like there are those that can be converted into juices, coolers, desserts, cookies, and many others. Uh, some of these are not being utilized right now because the farmers do not actually know how to process these vegetables. So they, in our study, we were able to find out that our farmers do not usually have the capacity to make this into finished product. Aside from the farmers, this app can be used by food processing students, the food technology students, and also others such as development uh, communication students who take food processing. And they can use this in their processing class. And also for those who are planning to be entrepreneurs, they can make use of the app and do their own um, innovation of the product. 
Thank you very much for uh, using the app and good luck to your uh, and, and hope that you will be able to benefit from it. We are now at the last part of our program and I know that this is the moment that you have all been waiting for. The instructions on how to get our mobile application. To download, visit VeggieLikes.com. Go to My Courses and select the applications that you want to download. We also encourage you to enroll in our free online course to know more about our mobile application. That's all for today. Thank you so much and we hope that you will participate in our webinar this afternoon to get to know more about our high-value vegetable farmers. Happy Manresa Day celebration and once again, I am Joan Sual. See you later. Go Aggie!